Welcome back to Educator.com. We're going to look at a few more examples here on trying to come up with confidence intervals for the difference of two population proportions. So our first example, in a study of people who stopped to help drivers with disabled cars, researchers performed the following experiment. In the experiment, 2,000 drivers first saw a woman being helped with a flat tire, and 0 0.0290 of them stopped to help a second woman with a flat tire. Among 2,000 drivers who did not see the first helper, only 0 0.0175 stopped to help a woman with a flat tire. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the two population proportions. My first sample size is 2,000. And the proportion associated with that P1 hat is going to be 0 0.0290. My second is also 2,000. And I have my second proportion to be 0 0.0175. Alpha is equal to 0 0.05 because we're working with the 95% confidence interval. So I have alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. So the equation that I'm using for the confidence interval, I have P1 hat minus P2 hat plus or minus Z of 0 0.025 times the square roots of P1 hat times 1 minus p1 hat over n1 plus p2 hat 1 minus p2 hat over n2. Substituting everything in, we have 0 0.0290 minus 0 0.0175. When I'm working with the 95% confidence interval, z is 0.96. And then we have the square roots of, I have 0 0.0290. 1 minus p hat is going to give me 0 0.9710. And I'm dividing that by 2,000 inside the square root. And then here I have 0 0.0175 times, uh, I have to squeeze it in here, 9, 8, to 5, and that's divided by 2,000. Well, my difference between those two is going to be 0 0.0115, and I'm adding and subtracting 0 0.0093. I subtract that from 0 0.0115 and add it to 0 0.0115, and we get 0 0.0022, and 0.0208. So with 95% confidence, the difference between the two population proportions is between 0.0022 and 0.0208.